everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Jessica and today I've got Greta right here I don't know if you can see her ears or not but she's she's needing mommy attention I have got the color pan update for you this is a panning project that was created by my friend Misty it starts uh, started on January 18th goes to December 18th it is within the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group but it is open to anyone that wants to join in and it is all about color pop products and all of its uh, subsidiaries. I think it's Soul, um, Fourth Ray Beauty, whatever's under the whole ColourPop umbrella. And um, I'm enjoying it. I ha Once upon a time I had no ColourPop when everyone else had it and then all of a sudden I have tons of ColourPop and I actually enjoy it. So um, yeah, I love this project. Some of my stuff is in here just to hit pan, some is for usage, some is to finish. Actually, one thing is to finish. Oh, she's laying down now. Did you hear that big thump? So uh, let's uh, let's get into it. I have two rollouts this time. Both of them were for like usage hit pan, not to finish. The first one is the Jelly Much in Fly the Coop. I absolutely love this shade. This is probably on my plan to pan for next year. It is super pretty and um, I wanted to use it 10 times. I have done that and I actually did it right after the last update. So probably the week after I think the last update. So it's kind of been sitting there for a little bit. And the other one was to hit pan on the shade Affair which is from the Amour palette and Affair is this glitter shade right here. I did use that on my nails to do like accent nails. Um, I don't know, it's been a while. <laughs> I did post it on Instagram a while back and um, got a lot of compliments on it. And I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. It's way too chunky for my eyes, but I do think it is a very pretty color glitter. So I wanted to make sure that I actually used it as opposed to letting it go to waste. So I have those two rollouts and I will be rolling two new things in, but let's go over what I have in here that is continuing on. The first one is the Super Shock Shadow, Super Shock Shadow, I can't, I can't say that very fast, in Dost Thou Comprehend? It is this shade right here, and um, I am making some progress on it. I do have a dip in it. I'm noticing this is getting drier. I don't have that issue with like the super shock face stuff but some of the um the shadows just seem like they dry out quicker so i'm gonna um next time i use it i'm gonna put like a little layer of silicone oil on it and see if that helps it but um, i do really like this color and um, i think part of the reason i haven't used it more again is because it is feeling a little bit dry i can't i can't renew it as easily as the jelly much so that's why I'm going to attempt the silicone oil. I did um, do that with some other shadows, but I actually mixed it in because uh, it was like I hadn't used it. It was the beginning of a project. So, you know, and I, they were actually way more emollient when I was done with them than they like were when I first got them, which I'm okay with because, you know, it's easier to spread. Um, next up is the BFF Cream Gel Liner in Prance. I have not a ton left. My goal is to finish this one and I will show you on the cap, minus the hair that's on my hand. And yeah, you can see very slow progress on here, but I am, I'm making progress. I use this on my eyes sometimes as a base if I'm doing blue, which isn't very often. Um, I like I don't use it as an actual eyeliner and um, I use it on my lips sometimes if I'm using a shade of lipstick or whatever that's a little too warm and I want to cool it down it works for that as well but um, yeah it's gonna get there it's it is not going to make it out of this calendar year I will use it if I have to do like blue eyes blue lips blue whatever just to get it done by the end of the year I'll do it like it's not going to get that drastic, but you know, I, I am committed to getting that done before the end of this calendar year, hopefully by December 18th, which is when this project ends. All right, next up is another Super Shock Shadow, another one that I really love, but it is starting to dry out. It is To Be Young and Beautiful again. 
Can you tell these are from the Hocus Pocus? This is, it's a very pretty shade and you can see there is a dip in this one as well. This is another one I'm gonna attempt the um, silicone oil on and see if that works. She is killing one of her toys over here. And um, I do really like this. It does pull a little orange on me though, like peachy, I guess. But um, yeah, if that works, I will let you know at the next update. And the very last one that is continuing on is the Super Shock Highlighter in You Got Mail. I love the packaging just because of the pretty butterflies. I, I definitely love my butterflies and cows, which doesn't really work on this channel, but yeah, those are my things. Butterflies and cows, which is why I like the movie Ferdinand, if you've ever seen it. Yeah, I'm a weirdo like that. This is You Got Mail. My goal is to hit pan. I have like a very nice dip in this and I actually hit pan in this. I was swirling my brush around and it kind of, it, it was weird. It, it acted really weird. It kind of separated, but it wasn't like a natural pan. So I smushed everything back down in there. You can kind of see that there's like that crease there, which it was very strange the way it did that. It's like it, it chunked up and separated not like the chemicals or anything, but just like it, it parted. <laughs> and um, yeah, it definitely wasn't natural, so that's why I smushed it back in, and I'm gonna continue to use it until I get like true honest God pan on it, because my goal isn't just to like try to move a malleable product just to say I hit pan. I wanna actually like truly hit pan, if that makes any sense. So that is going to continue on. I need to roll two new things in. So, <clears throat> Since I rolled out a glitter and I really enjoyed using that on my nails, I'm going to roll in a new glitter. This is from the Lyric palette and I believe the shade is called Unsung. It is another glitter and I am probably just going to go ahead and use it on my nails because again, I don't want chunky glitter on my eyes. I have used it on my eyes in the past, not this particular one, but other ColourPop glitters and I I don't enjoy the way it feels on my lids and I don't enjoy trying to take it off and having it everywhere and even after you washed your face and you did a double cleanse you still have glitter everywhere so yeah I I don't enjoy that so on the nails it goes all right and the very last one is I didn't write it down so I'm gonna have to read it off here this is a BFF cream gel pencil not to be confused with the liner, even though it is a liner. Um, what is the shade on this one? Crochet. It is a pink. It needs to be um, sharpened. Let's see if I can get you a swatch. Oh my goodness, that hurts. There is the swatch on that one. It is very pretty. Um, I can use it on my lower lash lines. I can use it um, as an eyeshadow base. I'm trying to think um, how many uses I want to get on this. I'm just going to do 10 because I have other liners like this in different colors that I want to use. And I kind of want to cycle through them. It's kind of the point of this year is to play and, and play with all the things. So, um, yeah, I'm going to set this at 10 uses. And um, then I'll roll in another one to replace it when I've got my 10 uses. So, hit pan, 10 uses, and plus all the other stuff that I showed you. All right, definitely go check out Misty. She is gonna be listed down below. Um, there should be a link to a spreadsheet of everyone else that has joined in. And of course, if you wanna join in, grab some ColourPop products and have at it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.